I will introduce now uh, Colonel Peter Turkson, who uh, was able to join us now after a, an emergency meeting that he had to attend. So as I said earlier, he's the prefect of the Vatican's dicastery that Pope Francis created to translate his profound inspiration uh, into concrete action in societies, economies, and ecosystems. Cardinal Turkson will share with us Pope Francis's vision uh, for the holistic understanding of health that within our highly interconnected global system has to include all fundamental needs of people and ecosystems uh, to achieve one health that is an integration of the health of people, animals, and plants uh, as one integral uh, nature and creation. Cardinal Turkson, please. Uh, uh, thank you, for, thank you, and apologies for coming in uh, late and just you know intruding upon the procedure. Uh, and I'll be very, very, very brief. I think that the uh, interrelatedness of uh, of, of all the points that have been presented, especially from the last speaker, uh, is, 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 is indicated by the name of, uh, of, of the dicastery. The name of the dicastery is the care for you know, promoting integral human development. This was not a name of any Vatican dicastery in the past. Uh, this is a name that was introduced uh, uh, into the Vatican uh, in 2017 to describe the merger between four uh, previously uh, existing dicasteries. One had to do with the dicastery of social issues called justice and peace. That took care of social issues, justice and peace, uh, human rights and all. Then there was another one about health care. Uh, that, took, that took care of you know, uh, health care issues, pastoral care, the doctors, uh, nurses, and different types. So uh, and uh, and uh, so healthcare issues, and then about migrants, refugees, and itinerant people, people on the move, and then uh, uh, humanitarian assistance. Now the major of all of this is simply underlies the fact that none of these issues are independent variables. That all of these issues, uh, it makes a lot of sense to consider all of these issues together. You cannot seriously consider any healthcare issue without looking at the issue of rights. Neither can you consider any other issue about labor and uh, access to labor or you know, inclusive uh, job market or anything without also looking at the question of health and the question of you know, uh, rights and all. So this, uh, the name in the, uh, underlies pretty much our conversation this afternoon of considering how the issue of health is related with the uh, so the three points that have been presented to us, the health of our world, the health of individuals, the health of our planet, and how uh, we relate with them. Briefly, I'll relate them to uh, two basic uh, concepts, all of which uh, have to do with this dicastery. Talking about the interrelatedness of all of these elements in such a way that none of them is an independent variable would have us consider the fact that it is not for nothing that in the past, the ancient Greeks referred to our world as a cosmos. Cosmos derived from the Greek word cosmeo and just means to order. So that was an invitation to consider the world as an ordered system. An ordered system just simply invites to recognize that the different elements have to be in their proper places to make things work, work beautifully and so serve the human being and, his, you know, and uh, uh, he, the well-being of the human person in all its senses. So cosmetics invites us, cosmos invites us to look at that. That we live in an ordered system. Our world is an ordered system. And the need to recognize that the different elements in our creation need to exist and lie in their proper places for everything to function possibly, uh, properly is very crucial. It's an understanding that we need to revisit every now and then. In this dicastery, uh, Dealing with uh, pandemics and all, is stuff that has come up with the commission, uh, Vatican COVID-19 commission, which is meant to create a seedbed for development in the future, inviting us to recognize what flaws to avoid 
and what virtues to develop. Now, at the same time, it's invited to recognize the limits and the boundaries that are being now talked about between the human world, the animal world, and how to maintain the boundaries so that the crossover is not there. Now we're talking about COVID. Before this, our dicastery dealt with Ebola. And that was a type that we created also in this dicastery, a task force to deal with the Ebola. And then dealing with the medical experts at that time, they explained the incidence of the Ebola as uh, uh, infected bat biting a, a fruit and then uh, monkeys or chimpanzees eating that fruit and getting sick, becoming an easy victim, which hunters could easily you know, uh, hunt and then take home. And then from that, as it were, uh, the passage of the virus from the animal world through a fruit, through a sick animal, and becoming an easy victim for a hunter was explained. That is part of the conversation that is being had there now. But I'd like to talk about a, more, a simpler thing that we are also are, are working on in this dicastery. There is, a pro, there is a program we call WASH, Water, Health, Sanitation, and Hygiene. And this is a process, this is a, a, a program that we engage in, a way of getting local communities to respect the basic elements of hygiene, basic elements of sanitation. This again is something we began to promote with the incidence of COVID because COVID invited us to wash hands properly and all of that. So water and washing of hands is one. But the basic elements of sanitation and basic elements of hygiene are also very crucial and important in this regard. So while we talk about respecting borders between the animal world and the human world so that a transition and a transfer in an intrusive character is not possible, we also uh, seek to encourage local communities to preserve and uh, respect the basic elements of hygiene, healthcare, and sanitation. So that staying themselves healthy and protected, the incidence of infection from any of these, uh, any of these uh, diseases would also be reduced to minimum. So we pursue this alongside the very many other elements and call to be vigilance about how people consume, how much, uh, so the eating habits, uh, especially among uh, you know, poorer communities in forests and, and villages and all, but most importantly, to uh, promote what is very easy for them all to do, respect the hygienic condition of their habitat, sanitation, and the access to work uh, to keep them all healthy. So this is a very brief intervention and very brief introduction contribution to the thoughts that, we, that we're discussing now. Thank you.